people writing me now mm -hmm. about a preacher who was on social media fighting me about the one wife doctrine. <laughs> Amen. Now everything is in disarray. <laughs> Amen. Because they said that he took some uh, man's wife. He took her. Mm. That was under him. He took his wife and took his, I believe, 16-year-old daughter. Lord. Old goat took a 16-year-old girl. My Lord. What a shame. What a shame God knows. And guys, before we continue, I found that 89% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Click that subscribe button to support truth and click the like button to keep these videos circulated within the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support and truth. Let's get back to it. See, you're mad at the wrong person. You're mad yes, at the wrong spirit. You're still dysfunctional spiritually. Yes, sir. Instead of rejoicing yes, sir. that the Most High Yah showed you your condition yeah. and didn't leave you in that condition for another day Praise blindly, yeah. Come on, Shepherd. you said about insulating and protecting your sorry ass feelings and emotions yes, sir. and stifling and grieving the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, By holding back your praise. Yes, sir. This was Pastor Dow a few years ago using his live stream to rebuke members who attended his Sabbath service, whom he feel didn't praise him enough for what he thought was an anointed message. But let's continue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is your release. Yes. Come on, Bless you, you had an opportunity yeah. of a lifetime. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Bless you, Oh, well, Pastor Dow, oh, well, 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 my ass. Yes, sir. You know I'm telling the truth. Nothing yes, but. All y'all got the spirit of truth, and you know I'm telling the truth. Yes, Type in truth. And would y'all please truth. hit the like button in there, please? Yes. Like you know I'm telling the truth, yes, man. Yes, sir. We sit there mute. Yep. While the devil whooping our ass yes, through yes, condemnation. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. Look at. Pastor Dow's face after he mentions the devil with condemnation. That's the look of a man whose sin is eating away at him. It's something he often thinks long and hard about, in my opinion. But these hype men around him is what's hindering and enabling him to refuse to repent. If you think I'm stretching, Let's go back about 12 years and listen in. You experience what it means to walk in the newness of life. Remember, there's never no success whatsoever at all without correction. And that's the reason why the churches are failing people today. That's the reason why the people's lives are turned upside down in a literal shambles. Because you've got people out there who are playing with your feelings and emotions who don't understand them themselves because they're trying to comfort you. In, in while you're in your iniquity, your wickedness, and your sinful way. That's what his hype men were doing while he cussed the church out on his live stream. They were and still are hyping him up while he lives in adultery. I'm not about to do that. I'm not about to make you feel good in sin. No more than you would accept me. You're not going to accept me being an adulterer or a whoremonger then trying to get up in front of you and tell you what the truth is, then what makes you think that I should water down the message, change the message for any of us, especially if I'm not living in a sinful lifestyle? You do not expect it from me, and neither do I expect it from you. Because if we did, we will all be classical hypocrites, will we not? This is a man who has devil obligations. I think he knows he needs to repent, but sincere repentance on his part with substance would be the end of straight way. It's ironic, and it's as though the younger version of Pastor Dow is speaking to the future shell of himself. We must remember that the accuser of the brethren is the enemy. Satan will come to condemn you and plague you with what I've coined sin catalogs. OK, so that man becomes discouraged from repenting. I'm sharing this with you from personal experience. But this is more evidence that Pastor Dow battled temptation before giving in to sleeping with the women in the church. And I believe that the whole Nelly adultery dilemma is what led to him adopting the false doctrine of polygyny. I believe he justified it by featuring King David in his sermons because he thinks he's King David because King David kept Bathsheba. 
But the only difference in his adultery is that Bathsheba's husband died. Nellie's husband is still alive. And at this point, Pastor Dowell is just battling with the aftermath. I believe that he's been contemplating repentance and it's eating away at his conscience. That's just my opinion. Because letting go of those two extra wives, one of whom he has two kids with, I mean, he would be at odds with child support court and no income because he cannot continue running straightway and be at peace with the most high. It's apparent that he's at peace with being a hypocrite, dying and being cast into the lake of fire. And that's real sad to say because I'm rooting for Pastor Dow to repent. God says he's going to present to himself a glorious, glorious church, church, not having a spot. Not having spot. Not one. That's right. That's why the word of God come breaking up homes, not living together. Yeah. Amen. You let live together, not married. to come break that up. Oh, yes. You preachers that want to get multi-wives and you women that want to get multi-husbands. Like people are writing me now mm -hmm. about a preacher who was on social media fighting me about the one wife doctrine <laughs> amen now everything is in disarray amen because they said that he took some uh, man's wife he took her mm. that was under him he took his wife and took his i believe 16 year old daughter lord old goat took a 16 year old girl my lord what a shame what a shame god knows that's right anytime you believe that you could have more than one wife and you are married then what you're doing don't seem uh uh, are just unjustifiable to you. No. It seems right. Seems the right. Bible said there's a way, a way that seemeth right unto man, but seems the end right. thereof are the ways of death. Yes. You know, a lot of folk know this stuff is right. <laughs> they right. know it's right, but because it's so tight, they make every excuse not to obey it. That's right. Now, when you stand before God, He already had it written. Oh, You're yes. inexcusable, oh, man. old man. Inexcusable. No excuse. See, for about nine months, Gino Jen has been quiet about Pastor Dow. I talked about this several times in my videos, but Pastor Dow has put himself in a compromised position because he refuses to address the claims that he's living in adultery with another man's wife. But let's play the part where Pastor Gino rebukes Ringo TV. Now, he was very subtle in his rebuke of Ringo TV. It's good to them that wait for him. That's why the word of God said, consider what I said. That's right. And the Lord will give you the understanding of all things. Mm -hmm. I know it's in you to fight what you don't want to stand. Yes. It's in practically most people. Oh, yes. Even in the natural. They don't want to stand something, they'll argue with you. That's right. They'll fight with you, tell you you're wrong. That's right. Until they take time and consider what you said, and then they're blessed to get an understanding. That's right. There are many men fighting us and women fighting us about baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, yeah. having their own podcast just dedicated to the truth of God, fighting it. My Lord. Now, if you listen carefully, he's talking about those who lack understanding. And he also mentioned those who fight the truth of God with their podcast. That won't help you. No. When you're done fighting and your podcast is over, you got to come on back and obey what the word of God said or be ushered in a burning lake of fire. Basically, Vino Jennings or whomever on the Truth of God broadcast who reviews content about him on YouTube went back and saw my video titled, Did Gino Fail to Cast the Demon Out? And all he did was just repackage what I said in addressing Ringo TV. And he elaborated in his own words without mentioning Ringo TV. But remember, he started off talking about podcasts. So let's just play it back and take a listen. <laughs> and right. many of you listening in didn't have a mother or father to teach you nothing. Yeah. So you have to thank God for this program that set you on the right track. That's right. And to tell you what they won't tell you. Amen. What the word of God says. But these as natural brute beasts. These. Amen. Listen at the Bible. Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 12. What is it? But these as natural brute beasts. These as natural brute 
beast. Them, made to be taken and kind. destroyed. The stiff neck kind, the hard head kind. Yes. The stubborn kind. That's right. The rebellious kind. That's right. Every time you tell him or her something from the word of God, they all they do is spend their lifetime fighting it. Fighting it. Fighting it. That's right. Fighting it. That's right. Amen. Everything we talk about, you can see it the moment you step out the door of your house. That's true. Who in the world will get upset of this righteous stand we have? Amen. But a hypocrite. But a hypocrite. Do you hear this? Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 12. What is it? But these as natural brute beasts. These. Amen. As natural brute beasts. Made to be taken and destroyed. Made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of the things that they understand not. God knows that's the truth. That's true. Some folk are claim they love you, but they speak evil of the things of the thing that they understand not. I don't understand. I don't understand. All right, if you don't understand it, but you better keep your mouth to yourself. That's right. Huh? That's right. If I don't understand something, it's best that I'm quiet. Oh, yes. Be quiet. Oh, yes. Yeshua. Some say this. Some say that. I say I don't know. Ain't no need for me to keep fighting something I don't understand. I may step on dangerous ground. That's true. And if I'm wise, the Bible says he that keep his mouth will right. keep his life. That's right. So if I'm wise, I'm not going to touch it. No. I don't want to stand it. All right. After I get the explanation and you explain clearly what it is. What it is. And uh, if I'm wise, I'm not going to keep fighting it because no. I don't want to stand. No. I'm going to consider what's said that God will give me the yeah. understanding That's right. in all things. That's right. Yeshua. Some say this, some say that. I say I don't know. Nobody knows the name of the Messiah. Ingo, you claim you don't know the name of the Messiah. Well, if you don't know, then shut up, shut down your channel, stop misleading thousands, and go fast so y'all can reveal himself to you. Ain't no need for me to keep fighting something I don't understand. I may step on dangerous ground. That's true. And if I'm wise, the Bible says he that keep his mouth will keep his life. That's right. So if I'm wise, I'm not going to touch it. No. I don't understand it. All right. After I get the explanation and you explain clearly what it is, and uh, if I'm wise, I'm not going to keep fighting it because no. I don't understand. No. I'm going to consider what's said that God will give me the understanding right. and all things. Right. My point in playing these clips back to back is to set the framework for upcoming videos in which I will show you how polygyny, the law of Moses, the name of Jesus, and the blood of Jesus are all connected. I will exhibit how in Deuteronomy 17, 17, God gave the children of Israel a 2,000 year eviction notice. An eviction also echoed in Deuteronomy 28. Now, it may take me about 30 videos to break all of this down. The Old versus the New Testament. Why we don't keep certain laws in the Old Covenant versus the New. Tithing, polygyny, the law of jealousy, sin offerings, the law of leprosy, consecration of Israelite women, the sanctification of marriage, the registration of concubines, uh, incest was once permitted in the Old Testament, and also I'll explain the difference between the Passover and the blood of Jesus, which does cast out devils. Now, it is paramount that you stay tuned and in all that getting, you're understanding. Because I've been getting a lot of requests to explain why polygyny is sin. Again, in Deuteronomy 17, 17, that was an eviction notice of 2,000 years that God gave to the Israelites. Basically, the Israelites were evicted from the Old Testament to the New Testament. That's really what happened. No pun intended. Because if God had said immediately after the Israelites transgressed and went into captivity, if the Most High had said polygyny is no more, then their wives and their children would have been vulnerable and compromised. So he gave them 2,000 years. But I don't have time to get into that right now. Like I said, it's going to take me quite a few videos to break all of this down. So stay tuned. Don't let your flesh write checks that your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. Do I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? It's not personal. It's scripture.